This video is going to show you how to use the settings link in your administration block to best configure your Moodle page uh, to meet your students needs. So what you're going to do, click on settings. That's going to take you to this page. And if you look at the breadcrumbs, you'll notice you're in Limburg Online Learning. I happen to be in this class. Uh, you'll be in your class. Um, and I'm in edit course settings right here. Okay, uh, before I begin, there's going to be some items on this page I won't talk about simply because at this time we don't use them. Um, if you have any questions ab about what these settings do or what these elements do, uh, go ahead and post it to the forum in the uh, general questions category or the unit questions uh, forum and uh, I'll go ahead and answer those for you. Uh, okay, let's begin. The category uh, you will not have. You will not have this on your page. Um, you will have full name and short name. I'm going to assume that I'm teaching a world history class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and I'll title it World History and then I'm going to put my name at the end as well. Okay. The reason why I want you to put your name uh, at the end of the, the particular course uh, is to help us just kind of keep everything in order um, and uh, keep track of who has what class. Short name. Um, you can really just copy and paste the long name into the short name. It really doesn't matter. Um, sometimes you'll see this uh, red box come up. Um, if you go on to something, say I were to go on to this next item right here before addressing this, and as, as with most things, anything with a uh, red asterisk requires you to, uh, to enter it. Okay, course ID number we're not using at this time. Um, I'm going to go down to this item right here. This is our HTML editor. Uh, it does a lot of things. It functions a lot like Word. As you can see, it's got you can change the text here, text size, you can change the alignment, so on and so forth. Okay what you would put in this area is just a brief description so what you might put is what you have at the top of your syllabus um, it, it won't necessarily show up any anywhere Moodle is designed to be used at uh, and it actually is used at uh, um, schools the size of uh, say University of Missouri um, so there's more detailed required in these in at a, a larger school however for us if you just want to enter in something simple like uh, something like that um, if you want to talk about what the students are going to learn that's fine okay if I go down to format uh, this is where you're going to make your first decision if I click this drop down arrow it's going to give me different kinds of formats that I can set my Moodle co course up in the only two we're ever really going to use is either topics or weekly now if you're the kind of teacher that knows you're starting a unit on Monday you'll be done with it on Friday you might want to use the weeks format the weekly format the only drawback to that is, is in the event of say a snow day or um, in your calendar, uh, there might be an off day or something like that. It, it wouldn't allow you the flexibility that the topics format uh, does. So I'm going to suggest that you use a topics format. It's really up to you though. These other ones we, we won't use. So I'm going to select topics format. Number of weeks or topics. If my world history class, which I'm designing here, um, I know I have 10 units total for say the semester and then I'm gonna have a final so there's 11 different units plus a final that I'm gonna have in my class I'm just gonna set this to 11 and what that'll do is it'll give me um, that many topic bars when I go back to my main page if you decide later that you want to change this you can do so at any time and Moodle is really flexible like that it'll let you go back in and change something once you have it set up if, if you don't like how it is course start date this is important because this is the the base start date for every assignment and everything else you'll give um, I'm just gonna say the school year is gonna start say August uh, 15th hidden sections Go ahead and set this to uh, sections are shown completely invisible. Um, this just prevents confusion on your students parts um, and kind of keeps uh, things in later units hidden easier. 
Uh, gradebook feature. Uh, Moodle does have a gradebook. Um, it does function similarly to SIS. However, I would tell the students to find out their, their actual grade for the class to check SIS. But to, to find um, uh, grades on their individual assignments, they can go to this gradebook. So I'm going to leave that to yes. Show activity reports. Moodle will record the activity of everything your students do, which is nice, a nice feature. Uh, if you have this set to yes, other students will be able to see the activity of other students in the class. So you may want to set that to no. You could use it depending on what you, how you're using Moodle. Maximum up upload size. We're just going to go ahead and change this to 300 just to be on the safe side. Um, if you decide to do a lesson where a student turns in, say, a, a photo story project, um, and you have this set to a smaller upload size, it may not allow um, the photo story project to be turned in. So I'll just set that to 300. To force theme, uh, we only really have um, so many themes, and all a theme is is how the Moodle looks. Um, right now, I would su suggest just not forcing the theme. Once you get more comfortable with Moodle and the icons, you can go ahead and change it. Um, there are some interesting ones um, available here. We're going to skip MetaCourse. And as a matter of fact, the whole enrollment and uh, this element right here, the um, expiration notification, we're not going to use either of these simply because of how we're adding students to the class. Down the road we may use these, um, but for right now we're not. Groups. Uh, groups allow you to sort your students into classes. So we are going to, in group mode, use visible groups. Now if you, for whatever reason, only teach one section of a class, then you would not need to use groups. Under force, we'll just leave that as it is. You can leave availability as it is as well. Language, I believe the only one language we have it available in is English, so we'll leave that as it is. Role renaming. Right now, um, I could type in, say, Mr. Hilton right here, um, and it would change um, wherever it said teacher in Moodle to Mr. Hilton. You can use it or not use it, it, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I've got everything marked that I, I want to get changed and all that in my settings, and I'm just going to click Save Changes. Now if we take a look at the, at the things that have changed on our actual Moodle page, you'll see up here the name of my course is now World History Hilton, and it also appears in the breadcrumb as that. Also, I now have 11 topic bars because that's the setting I changed there. If we had added a calendar, um, the default start date would be August 15th since that's what we uh, set it for um, in our settings. So that uh, on a basic level is how you change settings in your Moodle course. Remember you can go back and change anything at any time and if you have any specific questions on this either use the blue question mark which is located throughout the uh, settings page or post your question to the uh, general questions forum or the unit questions forum.